Okay. Hallelujah. Why don't you bless us again? Thank you, man. Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Lord, I pray that you bless this time here, Lord. I thank you for this time, Father, that we can come together here and talk about Lord, what you are doing hmm. in our lives. Lord, I pray that we would not approach times such as these with our own minds, Lord, hmm. but seek to be led by you, Father, hmm. Lord, and guided by your voice mm. and for the calling that you have called us to Father mm. Lord I pray for wisdom and discernment mm. in everything that we do mm. in life or that we mm. be led by the spirit inside us mm. Lord, bless your holy name mm. Amen Hallelujah Amen. Well please go ahead so we got our Q&A sharing oh you know whatever you think is worthwhile in in your life in the lord so yeah mm. Yeah. Um, yeah yeah the other night mm-hmm. i had something to share yeah, yeah. the other night i because uh you know a few weeks ago me and nicole spent some time together oh yes yeah mm-hmm. I just shared some different things about, you know, what mm. the Lord had set in her heart about our relationship together. Mm. Um, and Sorry. so I've just been trying to keep up with her a little bit just yeah. throughout the week. And the other night I'd ask, because yeah. I kind of felt the, like I, I noticed after we have as a group or myself, I was a good like spiritual growth time Mm -hmm. I feel the enemy is very he comes and like strikes you know right after that you can can guarantee that the enemy is going to try to make some kind of move Mm. you know after (coughs) some kind of spiritual growth or time yeah so I noticed that and I you know I just messaged her asked her for some prayer Mm. on that and Mm. the couple days later she said she had had a vision um Mm. for me Mm. Um, I was hoping we could just because I've already listened to it, but okay. I was hoping we could play it here. Okay, maybe to yeah get some of your yeah. thoughts on that. Yeah. So I'll just play it. Mm-hmm. My phone. I think you for sure that was me. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a vision I had for Elijah. Mm. The vision starts out with the picture of the inside of a mall. And inside this mall, it's a two-story mall, there's like a, like a great room. And in the middle of that, there's, um, it's like a fountain that has marble white people in it and water shooting out of it and and it keeps changing and it's actually different gods so it'll have a couple gods and then it'll change to other gods and will change to other gods and change to other gods and I see you there Elijah and your facial expressions are very distraught you're very upset and there's people everywhere just really really minding their own business not really caring anything about anything except for themselves and you keep trying to persuade them to leave this place and they won't they won't even give you a look in your direction or anything they just keep going about their business and you're trying and trying and finally like the mall starts to crumble and they still pay no mind or attention to it at all like they act like nothing's happening at all and you're pretty upset for quite some time and then finally it's like you um it's not that you gave up but it's like you surrendered and then as soon as you like surrendered like this hole opened up in the roof and this light shone down on you and like you raised up your hands even in surrender and that you had more peace about you and this was the first scene that i saw the second scene that i saw was it was a um it was a runway model show so i don't know how much you are familiar with that but they have like a really long runway 
like high off the ground and these women they come and they do fashion shows and they show the clothes and they walk down and then they go back and then a new woman comes out shows her clothes and then everybody just spectates they watch there's cameras and people take like notes and all these things um and this was very much that place so you're actually here standing a little bit close to the runway the catwalk they call it and um you had a notepad and in your notepad you wrote down first thessalonians 1 9 i believe yes that's it uh and after you did that these these women that were coming out and these women were dressed in these like shiny really like i guess luxurious or extravagant dresses is the best way i can describe it and i don't know if you know what sequence is but it was like so shiny it was either like diamonds or sequins or something and they each were wearing one solid color, like green, blue, white, and um, there were three or four, I'm not quite oh, sure, exits. They repeat it place. from and the, yeah. let's read the scripture first, so. I'll go back over there. Yeah. yeah, very good. So. Hold on, first Thessalonians 1, 9. Mm-hmm. Do you have read it? Not yet. I was waiting <coughs> to kind of sit down. The <coughs> first says only when I said, God is a faithful through whom you are called into fellowship with the Son, Jesus our Lord. Hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. So, yeah, there's some contest here, really. Rest. Mm -hmm. You're actually here standing a little bit close to the runway, the catwalk, they call it. And um, you had a notepad. And in your notepad, you wrote down First Thessalonians 1 9, I believe. Yes, that's it. Uh, and after you did that, these, these women that were coming out, and these women were dressed in these beach, like shiny, really like, I guess luxurious or extravagant dresses is the best way I can describe it. And I don't know if you know what sequins is, but it was like so shiny. It was either like diamonds or sequins or something. And they each were wearing one solid color, like green, blue, white. And um, there were, I believe, four, three or four, I'm not quite sure, exits to this place. And you actually were directing them that they needed to leave. So everybody was still there, you know, spectating and all that. And then you had them walk down the steps and each exit in their own personal door to leave. And then after they did that, you left. You put your little notebook into your pocket and you left yourself. The third scene that I saw was that you were at a baseball field with a, at a baseball game. And you were in the, the bleachers, and you were in the section that sits the um, scouts. Sorry, that was an Amber Alert. Um, and you again had your little notebook. And the first thing that happened was I saw the each individual people that were sort of in charge of the game. First, I saw like the general, ma not the general manager, the um, the lead head coach. I think it's actually called a manager. I think they call him that in the, uh, in baseball. I could be totally wrong. And then I saw um, the umpire. And then I saw the base coach. So they're the people that stand next to the bases that tell the people, like, go or stay. And so it highlighted all of these people to me. Um, and then at this point, you wrote down, I think it was Romans 4, 14. And... Sorry, using the Bible. Sorry. <clears throat> for if those are for the law are heirs, then faith is made void, and the promise is nullified. The law brings about the wrath, 
or where there is no law, there also there also is no violation. Okay. Okay. Mm. This will defeat the law of a country. Contract is there, so yeah. Mm. Go on. And then you got up from the bleachers and came out onto the field, and you actually had everybody that was in the outfield go into the dugout and you directed them to get off the field and go into the dugout and you were very at the last two places you weren't upset anymore like at first it was it was really scary for you what was going on and in these last two places you were very confident and you were like this is just what we're doing you know this is what's happening anyway and so you came you directed them to go to their dugout and then once they were in their dugout they had put on like backpacks i'm not sure if they were um like parachutes i thought they were parachutes at first but then they kind of changed into army gear and after they had their army gear you directed them to go out of the field and then um again you put away your notebook and you kind of left and you followed behind and that was the end of the vision no i think you should understand the reason we're clearly so yeah uh, <laughs> um Yeah. I I've been thinking about it pretty hard the past <clears throat> two days. Mm. Um can't say I can place um anything for certain because I'm still pretty new to discerning things like this. Right. You able to share with others, your dad? Just you, so far. It was all about two days ago. Definitely talk to your dad about this. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And then this session was no one, man. You know, so those are good place to discuss with others. So. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um. I. It seems that like a mall mm -hmm. and especially like a fashion show or something mm -hmm. seem like very worldly places mm -hmm. they seem like very mm -hmm. like self-centered kind of mm -hmm. places mm -hmm. places of you know man's way mm -hmm. or I ideas mm -hmm. um and it seems like i'm not wanting to be a part of that trying to lead people mm. away from that you yeah. know yeah um i'm not super sure how the scriptures align with it exactly mm. but um it seems like i'm also observing those things mm -hmm. with the notebook mm. um, i'm not sure how to you know, apply that to my life at this at this time besides um maybe uh, uh observing the world mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. um <clears throat> being in the world even in mm -hmm. places that are very worldly mm. um I also thought it was interesting how kind of like she said that my demeanor changed. I'm kind of nervous to like more confident and not maybe not affected. Mm. And maybe that's a place I'm getting to mm. in life, later in life, I'm not sure. Yeah. I think in my state I know you have prophetic coding. This is my interpretation. Or rather, not impression, impression. Mm. Um, normally, I don't do detailed interpretation. I'll give you one, however, this one. So, just mm. for you to learn what the interpretive thing is. Mm. So, anyway. <coughs> there are three things to highlight concerning the, the, the three scenes of this vision. It's a vision, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because most likely it's a prophetic in nature. 
speak in your life, your calling in general. Mm. In terms of three seasons of your life. Mm. So. Mm. Three things to highlight as the keys for understanding, which can be applied to interpret each season or each thing rather. So, one is uh, obviously the location where the activity taking place represents a different setting, right? What the people are doing and right around you. So. Mm -hmm. So, so that thing has to do with the activity taking place where it's much signified the kind of involvement you have with people in the world. Mm -hmm. So obviously all in the world. So. Right. The second thing is your relationship with them. The first one obviously was was not noticed easily identify it in the wrong place, in the dangerous place. Mm. And by using a voice, nobody listened to you in this city. Did, did, is that not just true? So eventually you had to escape out of it or mm -hmm. something like that. Right. So, so therefore, I think it's implied, the more obviously represent the spirit of commerce, spirit of transaction. Mm. People go there to, to get what they want. Mm. So your mind is signified a certain Christianity rather than worldly people. Mm. Within you, however, there is a, a youthful desire in your life want to get stuff, basically, you know, so that might have relevance to it. I'm not sure. However, I don't think that's how much relevance to it. Sure. So, yeah. Mm. The reason those are used is because God can visions like use your own natural life to highlight something you're familiar with so give you understanding the relational dynamic or the desire dynamic in a man right you have desire so mm -hmm. that is taking place so maybe your desire somehow somewhere is want to go to the mall to buy stuff as much you want you know choose whatever so sure so therefore your idea No, so your experience in life in that desire can be reflected about uh, maybe certain questions, you know, so mm -hmm. Christianity. Is that making sense to you? Okay, Jesus used a farm, sowing seed, to talk about the believer's life, am I? So, right. you know, you think about what a farmer sowing seed has to do with anything with the spiritual sure. life. So, it's a reflection of something the people in the world at that time they're familiar with it mm -hmm. you know it's everyday life is that making sense to you so so the, the ball is a representative representative for some of your your own experiences familiar to you but represent some dynamic what do you think about the marble figures as god that's one point that's by it's not merely commercial because of a false god there mm -hmm. i think it represents mm -hmm. different false christianities Gonna worship with God, worship with the own God in the name Christianity. So, mm. prosperity God, for example. Right. Yeah. Mm. I'm just talking. So, that's for your reference because mm. I don't think it's merely about the world. Mm. I don't envision you go to the world to tell people even more what to do. You know? so, <laughs> no, so yeah. Does that make sense to you? So, right. Yeah, I think it's more as a picture of a certain kind of Christianity. Mm. Is commercialized <coughs> Christianity, so self gain, you see, for self. So, so therefore, they had no idea to sign on with a false Christianity, the busy with it, don't even care what's really taking place, which is the downfall of the mob, so right. the demise <coughs> of the whole thing, right? So, yeah. So, you have no voice there. But God will give you a burden for those people, you know, so mm. tell them the danger, tell them the urgency to get out of uh, that danger, so, you know. The, com similarly, I think you, like the fashion guy, you know, you like fashion shoes, I'm teasing you, so <laughs> there's a guy to use that. <laughs> 
familiarity, a familiar experience, something to do, to to indicate another season for you. This way, I think. Again, the three criteria will be the people there and your relation with them. Then the outcome, mm. you know, your your action, the outcome, your action, and mm. so. One is the fashion show. It's obviously for show. I think they even listen to you somehow. You some kind of a designer. I think you will have a a time in life. People will listen to you. You know, people will put you in a in a place, give you a lot of say, give you a lot of rooms. You able to lead. But you once you recognize that is. For show,、sure, you know. I don't. I don't like a fashion show. I, I don't know about you. It's negative to me. So,、no, you know, like、so yeah, basically, the impress impress others is a great trap in life. I'm not saying that you try to do it. It's so we man made for us to attain or something. Is always trying to garner some kind of attention approval. So that is naturally. Can be innocently naive about that. We sometimes, you know, when young, so、mm. we think it's good to serve God, therefore serve people by this have a lot of attention. So I'm not trying to be overcritical. I'm saying, you know, so yeah,、mm. have a following. So, but it's a fashion. You know, Christianity has to go through different fashion through the ages. You know. Mm. Different teaching, different way to do ministry, doing worship stuff. I'm saying there's a fashion. You know, in ten years, we'll find another new trend, a new movement to come. So the never is the appealing is an ounce generated to the soul. People just want to do their thing, you know. So they no one have their real life change. They wanted something to be part of it. So.、Mm. Is that making sense to you? Like a like a big part of a, a fashion, you know, so、mm. or the fashion, the trend,、right. something, you know, you know, come and go. Yeah. Yeah. Is that making sense to you?、Mm-hmm. So, I think God may give you some success with that. Eventually, you find out, well, that thing's not that good. So,、mm. so you you then wake up, I guess. Try resign from that kind of endeavor. So, so I think that's. I'm not sure you're gonna weed that or not, but you're very talented. You're very capable. You know, you have a lot of spiritual potentials in you. you know, so you have a lot of charisma in you. So you don't need to worry about that. So,、mm. but that charisma draws. If not identified, applied by God, can draw the wrong flock,、right. serve the wrong purpose.、Uh, some part of you, I think, you want to succeed in that. You want to try that. I see. And God is gonna let you not do that. <laughs> Then you will have to. Come back, say there, there's this is for man, you know, for fashion. So the tension is for others. I mean, who wear clothes on the on the on the catwalk, whatever,、sure. for real every life? This is not not real life. So、right. it's for show. So fashion <coughs> and show. So two words. And not the overcritical, but that's a lifestyle. That's. Experience obviously was a word we're negative. So right, that's yeah, what I took that as a yeah, negative word negative, for sure.、So. The good thing is that your relationship there interesting enough. You have some credibility. You can tell people what to do, so they can resign from the fashion walk to walk away from it.、Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I I think God may use you for certain kind of Christianity. You know, to maybe getting all a little bit. Eventually, will you know lead people to resign from that, like exits from this.、So、I'm apply Christianity because I don't think you will be in the world. Rather, in the process of serving God and getting all different people. So, 
the last one is a baseball game you want to hear something crazy that's a personal one so you know at the beginning of the conversation i told you remember i said you certain word change meaning through times mm. so you, you know we had to get something to eat or drink i think they continue the conversation but i have an example in my mind mm. the word gains you know where the word gains came from in gains. english yeah gains where it used to be people hunting mm. So, you know, these dogs sometimes even ride on horsebacks to hunt, hunt animals, right? Mm. That's where the wise animal for hunting called the game to begin game. with. It's a game, you know? Mm. So, they often organize those hunting experiences called the games. The competing, you know, to win prize. You know? mm. That's the Asian aristocrat do those things in European time, you know, European. Middle Ages, whatever you call this. So, is that make sense to you? So, you know, mm-hmm. so the word games is not modern word. It's changed with with time moves on, right. culture moves on. So, so the essence of game changed, but it's always from a public entertainment, basically. You know, so mm-hmm. like Romans to the Olympics. Yeah, Olympics, and then fighting in the gladiator. Yeah, gladiator. Yes, yeah, for that. So mm-hmm. this for entertaining the public. So yeah, I don't think Roman do the Olympics. Oh no, yeah, so that was so, great. Yeah, so so they have a different uh, like a sporting, you know, so kind of so mm-hmm. games. The key is the word games. I thought, wow, interesting. You know, the modern games, you know, so. mm-hmm. But that's a baseball game working from part of those extensions, you know, so become a game. That's interesting, I'm thinking about it. So, mm-hmm. yeah. so the baseball game is a very interesting parable, if you will, know, of a certain kind of Christianity as well. You know, have a hierarchy, so have rules, you know, so mm-hmm. um, have a word strict stipulations you know is that 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 is a roman samurai could mm. the second the first scene there is no worse could uh the the second one was on the fellowship mm. so fellowship can be you know you, you learn from life learn from positive from negatives most people, interesting enough, they refuse to learn from the positives. They want to, they have to learn from negative experiences. Mm-hmm. I think, you, I'm not trying to be ugly to you, so I think you're going to have to learn things, be different than no one. <laughs> you're going to have to learn things from what not to do. Because you have a word angel mind, word curious mind. Your soul is a little bit unbridled. That's where it's hard to say to you. Right now, you're a wonderful young man. <laughs> God love young man. For sure. You have God in counsel in every way. But inside of you, something, you want to try it out things. And it's, uh, to experience things, basically. That's not a really bad thing. So, I'm saying, not saying bad or good. But eventually, you can come, come God has been in your life you will recognize, oh, this is, you know, everything vanity in a sense, you know, so, um, that's time you will learn true wisdom, the two way to learn wisdom, positive experience, negative experience, is that making sense to you, positive mm-hmm. experience, uh, I don't say that equivalent all the time, but the lesson sometimes can be profoundly the same, mm-hmm. You know, so am I making sense to you? So yeah, the lesson learned is is profoundly the same. Mm-hmm. The, even the experience are drastically different. Right. So explain that to me. Why? <coughs> well, uh, uh, you're you're saying 
that through either a positive or negative experience whatever yeah let's be. hold that thoughts back and later on because i'll finish the interpretation okay. of the region first so that's why the sake the worst giving is um, one for first Corinthians one fourteen 14 or so, 119 one nine. One nine, okay one nine. it's a fellowship with the psalm mm. the same was to translate fellowship in the wrong way right so I think the four girls are also indicative of something going on with Christianity in the home. Mm. Yeah, so I went through different galleries of Christianity, different cool thoughts. Right. So I understand our restfulness. Want to know, is this the right one? Is this the right one? Is this mm. good? You know, so Christianity is full of unrestful people. People really don't know who they are, but they, they, they have gifts. You know what I mean, the encounter was gone. I'm talking about the genuine thing. So, but because of kind of Christianity, grew up with or familiar with, almost like can cannot help but to project the future with the, with the encounter with their input. I mean. Let's look at the early Christians. I mean, they will look at it, Christ Jesus today, different than look at today because they have their own history, they have their own limitations. So right. Even they receive the living Christ. So, I'm just saying, okay, so yeah. Because they don't live in the Gentile world, they don't live in the history that we carry today for 2,000 years, you know, to look at how corrupt the church has been, how lost the church has been. They don't have the bounty to do it. Even the step in truth and start something totally new as a new new people in the world for christ so mm. i don't they, they will never even think the whole christianity has been we were the christianity mm. much like the Israelites has been through the ages so yeah mm. they will never thought about the christ church would do the same thing so I'm just saying to you. So therefore, if a Peter today stay in our day, Peter will have a different perspective with the church. But you know, right. so <laughs> Christianity as a phenomenon through the history has been like you know. So yeah, is that making sense to you? Mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. Um, the third one, that's basically the last one, is the three points again. It's uh, what's going in place there. So the game. It's it's interesting. It's a law. I mean, it's a f some kind of a game. You play you have roles in it. Mm -hmm. So the contrast between faith and law mm. is interesting there. So right. And I think you go there. However, was able to upset. I'm not sure exactly what you see saying, but basically they put all the roles, all the. I mean, the ones in charge of roles and I enforce the. The leadership there, in a sense, how this game you played, mm. and uh, and put your end to it, and then you guys have a backpack, right? So, to set on the spiritual journey, I think that's a set free from something. So, mm. no more games. So, no more just games under certain rules. But it's a game. It's not a real journey. There's no win. You know, it's it's a fake way, you know, so, fake loss. Is that making sense to you? Right. You know, so I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, so yeah, mm -hmm. the the backpacks to be parachute. At that side, it's very interesting. I'm not sure about that one. So mm -hmm. depends on what's really the backpacks. But for me, it's like a starting a journey, a substantial journey, mm -hmm. a spiritual journey. I think that means you're gonna launch into discipleship. Maybe, so, mm. be somebody's spiritual guide how to walk out their spiritual walk. So, mm. so each one, regardless of your relation with them, different change. Am right? Your role changes. So, mm. Why is a voice crying out, warn people? Nobody really listen to you. The second one, is people do listen to you, but it, you know, it's you have to 
also cancel some kind of a show business, right? So, you know, so to work out certain things. So, the last one is a greater role is to set people free mm. from playing games. So, I think also the audience that you're concerned about is very interesting as well. Your relation with them. Mm. The first one, you don't have a personal relation with anyone in the mall, so. They don't care about who you are. And so, yeah. The second one, somehow you are either a designer or some director for those young ladies, you know, so you, know, you have some kind of leadership, right. some kind of, uh, you may be the designer, who knows? So my point is you, you are some kind of team leader, so. Mm. The third one, you're not a team leader, you interrupt the whole game, so. You know, you know, outsider. I'm not sure. Or maybe you are a player, one of the player. Mm. But you upset the whole team, or the whole game rather. And, and but your relation with the, those who walk with walk with out of the game is very interesting. So mm. a true fellowship there. So mm. and walk by faith, not by sight. Then it's become real. So. I think there's three things. I don't predict your future per se, but speaking maybe the the inner man goes through certain things in my non external life. So right. yeah, I'm not sure. So yeah. So. Mm. Now, back to the contrast earlier we talk about. Mm. I, I forgot the contrast we talked about. It was about. A, uh-huh. a similarity between wisdom from a good or bad experience oh yes oh yes yes you have some thoughts yeah yeah i think uh yeah, that means you can learn from well obviously you can learn from good and bad experiences mm. and mistakes and yeah. maybe messing up which i have very a good experience with mm. i'm sure we, we all did yeah. but a good example i like to use is when i was really struggling with uh my driving school, ah. passing the test, and that's oh, something yeah. me and Dad had a lot of conversation about. Is that even God should reveal to me through that a lot about learning through, yeah, not succeeding. Yes, and that that I gained a lot of wisdom from that. You ought to change a lot. You know, you recognize uh, our teaching to you learn some solid, the multiple things. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Smart is not necessarily a good a criteria to be solid in learning. So mm-hmm. yeah, and then I think those are things put in check in this. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and then even through good, good situations too, we can learn wisdom from that. Yeah, yeah. as well. I think you're struggling the being a cook these days. <laughs> Do well, you a little? Uh, yeah. I mean, it is a struggle. I'm just saying you. It, I'm not. No, no, any detail. No, no yeah. Detail, well, yeah. Okay, sure. you it is a struggle you for sure. Struggle because you're not a, a detailed guy, so. Yeah. Not really. Yeah, you don't like to do things repetitiously, much like me. So. <laughs> I can, you know. Yeah. yeah. I, I would do perfect my skills, but I don't like it. So, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't perfect your skill. You don't like it, so you're yeah, not there yet. So, you, you, you better than when I was your age. Just so don't, I don't want to put you down there. So I'm saying. <laughs> Certain attitude can kind of, only through hardship, life learning, you know. So. And yeah, I actually have learned yeah. even through that yeah. situation just a lot. Yeah. Not just about cooking, but through persistence, about mm. persistence. and. One of the things I learned is to be patient with yourself when you make mistakes. Mm. So, however, we can, we can make our mis- time and mis- making mistakes as something so negative become so repulsive to us so such a bad thing or like a shadowy thing like a sticking thing and that's uh, rather learn the true lesson through it and succeed you know be good at it then. so I think most uh, that's basically I have a concern I want to draw that out of you because you're mature enough you understand my intent you now. And, and you don't you don't walk away from failures easily. Most of the people they feel the stumble, and they throw their towel. 
and I'm not good at this. Well, actually, you're really good at it. He's just not willing to do it. Mm. So, so I think the the bad attitude. Why am I saying the bad attitude? You don't have to succeed in everything. I'm not saying that. But there are things that challenge your this is temper. This is this 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 inconsistency. This is short temperance. This is never really solid with anything, you know. Never invest in anything. Everything is because I like it, I don't like it. I feel good about it, I don't feel something. Don't feel good about it. It must be very bad. There are some character in your in your family. Their life never, never decided by the value of thing. It's always by their feelings. There's no way we invested it, nothing. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I cannot see that over inside. It's always a need based, emotional based, or feeling based. It's not a different value based, a vision based, a greater devotion based. Is that making sense to you? You know, so, yeah. If God's people for them, let me see, all the community people, if I'm a father, okay, let's see. My wife may be disabled, therefore he can't cook, prepare a meal for my children. Right? So I'm saying, mm-hmm. saying, saying. Am I going to say, my God, I'm going to eat bad food and with my children the rest of my life? I hope you don't. Mm-hmm. You know, even you never like cooking, you never, <laughs> you know, really know how to cook. But you're going to have to learn from your wife how to cook, mm-hmm. and um, use your wife as a help to taste the food is good or not. You know, mm-hmm. is that making sense to you? But you do the cooking, do the shopping, everything. It might make sense to you. You know, so mm-hmm. and take joy in it. Learn from your wife, have a beautiful fellowship with learn how to cook. Mm-hmm. Work with the children, tell them how to clean dishes, which normally is a very irritating job for the gentleman. Mm. <laughs> so, <I'm sorry. laughs> I understand. I don't like wash dishes, but if I had to do it, I could do it with my children with a happy face and happy heart. Mm. I'm not gonna be be irritated by it. Mm-hmm. You know, feel have a bad lot in life. I'm the same. You can't do that. So many people said you cannot do really do that. Well, I did many times with some very bad situation, bad people, bad jobs. Mm. I don't like it. I don't prefer it, but I'm there. You know, so making sense to you? It's my life. Can't escape from my life. So mm. why don't take advantage of the people? Take advantage of the situation. Not take one to the people in a sense. No. <laughs> in her self gain per se, but it, take one to just what I offer to you and do a good job with it. Mm. You know? Succeed in it. I remember those days at homeless, I used to hold that sign on the corner. Mm. I used to clean trash for the bike bike con- you know, they have bikers that get it together with trashy things. I would do a good job with that, clean the trench, holding the signs, and I'd be the leader for the whole whole people, whole crew. But homeless, it's a few days work, you know, so. <laughs> and the whole crew gonna come to me, you know, so. I'll be a little leader. The manager will ask me to share some responsibilities, and you know, I will be the spokesperson for the team, so. That's <coughs> like a Few days. Never met those people before. You mean making sense to you? You know, so I'm not trying to say um, I'm learning people's view. I'm, I'm just good with what I'm doing. Mm. You know, so I'm, those days I'm more diligent than today. So sorry. So. <laughs> Is that making sense to you? You know, so yeah. I remember. I will tell you, I'm going to wrap up with an anecdote, but I wanted to, pr- to impress you, not with experience, to impress you with some life lessons. How you learn from life. Did I tell you you learn things from positive and negative together? Yeah. Actually, sometimes negative you learn, you learn more from negative experiences than positive experiences. Probably. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Your mind is opened up a little more. Yes, yes, times. yes. For example, why I don't want to learn how to cook a best burger? Better than I want to talk. I can do that. Burger, man, it's not too much to think about. You, know, you have all the tools you need. You just need to pay attention how to make the best burger. You give me a month, I'm going to invent a new burger. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to just copy this, the recipe or something. Right. I'm going to try something new, you know, so, just for my own enjoyment. You know? <laughs> That's my set. Elijah just tell you, wherever I go, I change the working environment I have. I'm just saying, so, you know, not really everywhere. I mean, these days, I'm more passive than even work. But everywhere I work with, same change. Hmm. I don't try to initiate change. I'm just like to think. Like the work with the people in charge, or whatever, to suggest, hey, maybe we can do things different, you know, so. Don't try to overtake anything, just stay, you know. I mean, here I see it, so it's going to be done differently. Beneficial for everybody. Why, why don't we think it differently? And because we think like that, or rather, I think like that, people say, oh, this guy really care about what we're doing, you know, so. So we then share the struggle, success with me in their businesses, you know, so. Become my friends, you know, so. Mm. Because I care what I get care, you know, so. Is that making sense to you? You know, so. It sounds very bragging, but I want to tell you, I have a lot of those experiences. <laughs> My life is unstable, so I, everywhere I go, you know, so. I'm going to have some some kind of impact, so, you know. I'm not the central person, I'm not a leader, I'm not always a manager, but I definitely I'm able to work with those people to make some, some kind of fundamental changes so yeah so that's what I want to be take away is is not a false encouragement it's very realistic practical encouragement I think you were capable of doing that mm-hmm. and you're poised to succeed in that look your grandpa look at your grandparents I mean two of them I'm from the senior and Cynthia right so mm-hmm. the worst we're capable, solid people mm-hmm. in life. We have different ideas of things. We don't necessarily on, on the same page. That's okay, but it's their life. It's we're, we're fruitful, productive. So, right. so they're your parents. You know, so mm-hmm. Others I mean, don't know that much, but they, they're example before you how to be solid with things you do. So, mm-hmm. as successful with it. You know, so, yeah. I don't think that's a bad thing to learn in life. No. So yeah. So all you can learn from growing up yourself. Mm. Like I was. That was a struggle, so not with the struggle. Mm. Because nobody told me I had to solicit help. You see my point? You know, so right. yeah, so mm. and one of the things I wanna walk away from this counsel to you or wisdom to you. Is human being has this tendency when things are freely given, <laughs> we don't really treasure it. <laughs> we have to fire for it or pay the price for it, then we treasure it. That's why failure sometimes is more important. Learn better lessons than to succeed. In it, you know? so, yeah, yeah, I don't think we, yeah, fighting and kind of yearning for something and achieving yeah. it is more. Yeah. Yeah, you really do appreciate it more. Let's uh, be more practical than to do a case study. Why you don't want to learn Chinese in, with some passion and zeal in you? There's a passion in you. You just want to be good at it, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know what inspiring you. It's something, something that's inspiring you, you know? Something open up in you. But my point is that you can learn anything in that way. Chinese is something you choose to invest in, if you're passionate enough. There are certain things in life you don't have a choice to give to, mm-hmm. like a job. But maybe you can approach it with attitudes as passionate as, as if you choose a job, yourself choose a job. Mm-hmm. 
Is that make sense to you? Yeah. Well, let me just give you life experiences. People said, you just talking. No, no, no. I never like a content. Mm. I never like a web design. I never like it. But I equally enjoy it, just as if I choose, I, I like it. But deep in my heart, if I don't have to do it, I will definitely not choose that kind of interest, <laughs> endeavors. Right. Does that make sense? You have a choice, you yeah. know? So, but I don't have a choice. It was a given, I must be good at it. I, I want to enjoy it being good at it. I wanted people to know I want to be enjoyed. Mm -hmm. So, does that make sense to you? I enjoy work at it. Mm -hmm. I do. I mean, I don't like it. But I enjoy work at it. It sounds very kind of contradictory. So. I, yeah, I, I can understand that. You, you explain why you can understand. Give me. <laughs> I just I know I know there's some things that I've done that I don't yeah. really want to do, but I enjoy. But enjoy you enjoy it yeah. equally, you know. It's it's the thing you do, so yeah. you know why don't you enjoy it? So right, you must do it with with that wrap it up. So yeah, mm -hmm. my point is in everything. Don't get irritated with what you do. If you have to do it so these days, I'm for sure it's like you do, but I'm I'm trying to be a better older for you guys. So, <laughs> so I'm still learning. You just you need some time improvement. So, you know. But fundamentally, we do life. Well, most of the things, practical thing to do is now because we want to do it. Mm. It's other responsibility, our right. needs. So. Mm. It's a privilege to have a. Be needed. Mm. Privilege to be able to help help somebody, do something, to be part of something. So I don't want to explain it. You know, have a thankful heart about it. You know, so you know. go ahead. <clears throat> so Lord, I thank you for this wisdom, Father. Lord, I pray that I would truly apply myself in life, Father. I'm no longer with this self-pleasing mindset, Lord. But Pray that my mindset and my life would begin to and continue to mature, Lord, mm -hmm. and become more rooted, Lord, in the in the path you've set out for me. Mm -hmm. Just be solid, you know. I think that all those things, God in his, inspire you. The hidden message is a solid with your life, you mm -hmm. know. So, yeah, go ahead, mm -hmm. Lord. I just pray for wisdom that can only be received from you, Lord. I just pray that you'd, you'd speak to me, Father. Lord, and that I would learn how to how to listen for your voice Lord, in all times of my life, Lord. Lord, I pray that I will not be too worried or concerned about or the future you have set out for me mm. I will take the steps that you have set out in this time mm. or the things that I can do now mm. or that I would do them mm. unto you mm. bless your holy name mm. Mm. I encourage you Elijah I hope you don't put you a terrible sober mode but you bring that vision that vision is a worry we're a compact vision. <laughs> I mean, we're a meaningful vision. Continue to pray for you. I think you're doing super good in this. Uh, mm -hmm. many ways, far excelled where I was in your life, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. You can bring.